Hey Rivals, Bax here. Welcome to Let's Play Episode 14, a first look at Nyrax and Maulers at Stronghold Level 6. Nyrax is a Death Ancient that when put in a spell tower can prevent units from healing. Very, very nice ability. His first level spell summons Undead Warriors, which are very handy for distracting units. The Regeneration spell is very good for healing up your units. That costs 10 mana. And the death spell is really the main spell of Nyrex. It does an incredible amount of damage over a short time period, but it uses 15 mana to, uh, to do that. That damage will increase as his level increases up to six, seven, eight hundred points of damage, wiping out uh, just about any building in a single blast. So that's the highlight, the key feature of, of Nyrax, although his uh, raise undead ability and regeneration are also quite useful. So let's take Nyrex out for a little test drive. We're currently at win streak 8, so these should be some pretty decent battles. We also have a freshly arrived uh, new troop called the Mauler. So let's uh, change our troops and show what the Maulers can do. They have a great amount of health, over 300 hit points just at level 1, so much hardier than either soldiers or archers. Their damage is decent. The, the key thing about them though is they take two slots instead of one. So if your squad size is five, you can only fit uh, two maulers. If your squad size is six, you can fit three in there. So we're going to want to increase our troop size to, uh, to an even number. All right, so we have maulers, soldiers, wardens, and mana hunters, one of everything. And we'll start up in the corner here, getting some mana and coming in near the stronghold. When the watchtower is ready to start attacking the Mad Hunters and Dragon, we'll send in the Maulers. Now, the key thing about the Maulers is that they prioritize defense. So instead of attacking whatever the closest building is, like most other troops, Maulers will specifically go after the defenses. Uh, if you played other games like uh, Clash of Clans, that would be like the uh, the giant. Um, so they're they're very beefy. They're good tanks and they take out the defenses. So very, very handy to have in your um, in your troop mix. All right, so for Nyrax here, we are using that death spell to take out the Skywatcher. Now level one, the damage isn't fully enough to take out a full building. So if we get some death primus, it's worthwhile to uh, increase that ability on Nyrax and we're summoning a lot of those undead warriors. Now you'll notice that their health is decreasing even though they don't get shot at. Uh, undead warriors will kind of decay over time. So unlike elementals that will stay healthy, undead will stick around for just a while before they collapse. Um, but they're really good for distractions or for taking those um, gold buildings that are far away from your troops. All right, the next attack, we're going for a Wind Street 10 and a Relic Chest. We'll stick with our same composition for troops and for Nyrax. There's some good free buildings down here at the south. We'll send our air troops after that. Now we do have a Sky Watcher and a Watchtower down there. So they're gonna get shot at pretty soon if we don't send in some help. We're building up good mana here. We're starting to get shot out, so we'll pull the dragon away. And that ice tower is going to be annoying too. So, pretty decent base. And when I come in from this side, <clears throat> use the regeneration spell since we expect to take some damage from the catapult as well as get frozen by the ice tower. We'll do a flyby here to shut both of those down temporarily. Try to knock down the tower and the catapult quickly. And if we can take down the sky watcher and distract the watch tower, the dragon can come again in safely. A couple of undead warriors to distract. All right, things are looking good here. And we use that death spell to knock out that flame tower. So again, the uh, that death spell is very situationally useful. 
if you need to create a hole in the base to pop your troops in, um, it's a great way to do that. You'll have to build up some, uh, some mana first in order to, uh, to use that tactic, however. Alright, so on to our nice next base here. Connection seems a little bit slow, so it's saying looking for players, so I really don't think it's having trouble finding any. Good amount of gold available on this one. The vent, the base is very compartmentalized. Can be tough to break in there. Gotta get through a lot of walls, that's gonna be a bit difficult. But fortunately for us, he's got the troop portals far away from any defenses, completely free to us. We're gonna be able to build up 15 or more mana pretty easily just by sending the dragon around and the mana hunters if needed. So that's gonna help us out quite a bit for breaking into the base. So especially on these higher streaks, it uh, it really does pay off to be to be patient to do some work with the uh, dragon first to get your get your mana. Also gives you some extra time in the middle of the battle to to think through where you want to uh, come in from and to see what spells you'll have on hand to do that. So we're going to come in near the Watchtower, Skywatcher, and the Catapult. We'll use regeneration to keep our troops healthy. We'll get a little freeze action from the flyby of Forville, our dragon. And we're going to use another regeneration. So in this case, because our death spell was low level, it would make more sense to use the regeneration spell twice rather than to use the, uh, the death spell. Had it been higher level, knocking out the catapult would have been a, a pretty good use of that spell. All right, we're gonna send in some undead warriors to protect or distract from the uh, from the wardens. Move the dragon in sniping position, and that'll let us take down the uh, stronghold. Now we'll use that death spell to, to mob up and take out that, that watchtower. All right, so that one went very well. Good gold and win streak 11. And that filled up our gold storages. So now we're at the full 70,000. And let's see here. The two portals are taking 51,000. Definitely one of the key priorities at any town hall level is to increase your squad size. We have a update still to do in the blacksmith, but we're just a little bit short. And so we can look at our quests available. And we'll go ahead and redeem some of those for the sake of time. That'll put us over the 25,000 mark. We're just shy of 26,000, so we'll take our smallest gold out of inventory, redeem that, and now we have enough gold to start the Soldier 3 upgrade. After that, we'll want to come back later, upgrade the blacksmith, but we'll save that for next time. Thanks for watching.